Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode here at T. Roy Cooks. Appreciate you joining me once again. Got up early this morning, Sunday morning, it's about 6.30 a.m. I got the Kamado Joe out back getting fired up. We're going to be cooking a pork butt on it today. And I'm going to cook it about 225 or 250. Let me show you the pork butt and how we're going to rub it up. All right, folks, we got us a nine pound pork butt here. I'm going to rub it down with some of this Oak Ridge barbecue. This is their competition beef and pork rub. I'll put a little bit of this in the... Uh, and the shaker here. First off, we're gonna rub it down with some just plain mustard. And I've had plenty of questions. No, you cannot taste the mustard after this is cooked. It all just melts together. And this is really is just like a, a binder to help hold the rub in. That's really all this is. You can use a uh, Worcestershire sauce if you want, or just plain water or olive oil. It doesn't really matter. It's all gonna be happy, happy. All right, and just go on with your little shaker here. Well, it's got a really pretty color to it, I'll tell you that. I'll put a link down for Oak Ridge Barbecue in the description box so y'all can find it if you want. I've tried all of their stuff and it's all excellent. Really, really, really good. All right, so let me get this finished rub down here and uh, let me get the other side. Now I'll meet you back out at the grill. All right, gang, I think we're about ready. Big Joe, she's fired up, holding about 2.30 right there. And let me back you out so you can see what I got going on with the vent system here. This top vent, it's all the way closed and the daisy wheel's all the way open. And if I look down here, there we go. If I look down there, you can see I've got about an inch, maybe inch and a half gap down the bottom vent. So fixing to throw this bad, bad boy on him. As my buddy James over at Ammo and Claim em Smokers would say. I'm going fat side up. And I've got my, uh, my heat deflectors in the bottom down here. And I didn't bother cleaning the grill grates themselves. Uh, I'm just gonna put that right in the middle right there. Uh, that'll work right there. I'll add some uh, probes to it here in a little bit. Right now, it's uh, about 6.45 a.m. We're gonna let this pork butt get going. Be right back. Here we are, folks. We are six hours in, and I mean to tell you, this thing is smelling fine on this Big Joe. It's about 1 p.m. right now. I did just, just about 10 minutes ago, stuck these uh, probes in here, and we're gonna hit it with a little bit of juice. Just kinda keep it moist. And that's what we're gonna do. You can use apple juice or whatever kind of juice you want or water, you know, apple cider vinegar, doesn't really matter, but just keep it moist, folks. We'll be back a little bit later. All right, gang, there we go. My pork butt is ready. You can see it kind of pulling away from the bone right here. I'm fixing to pull it off. We're gonna wrap it in some foil and we're gonna let it rest for probably an hour and a half or so. And uh, we'll be right back and I'll show you what it looks like after it's been pulled. All right, folks, it's been resting for like an hour and a half or so. Let's check it out. Oh, yeah. There we go. That's the bone right here. See, when this is done, this bone should just pull right out. Like that. Y'all see that? That's done. Now, I'm going to scrape the fat off a little bit, and I'm going to bust it up with a fork. We'll show you here in a second what it looks like. All right, folks, there we go. That is the pulled pork. Check that bark out, check out that smoke ring. That's some fine stuff right there. And I'm fixing to make me some sandwiches with this. And folks, I'm gonna tell you what, this is some fine tasting stuff off this Kamado Joe. Karen and my mom both loved it. Right, Karen? It was delicious. Thumbs up from Karen. If Karen likes it, it's good stuff, y'all. So, again, give me a thumbs up if y'all like the video. Appreciate y'all joining me once again. If you're not a sub, go ahead and sub for me. I'm gonna chow down on this with some pulled pork sandwiches. And folks, hope you share the video. And when you do, please tell all your friends, T-Roy cooks responsibly.